My name is Bradley Guys, and this is Ninja Gaiden. Proceeding with caution. I usually just run through like an idiot on this part. But I've learned that if I take my time, I can make it through a lot easier, so. It worked out pretty good. And if, if I go through long stretches where I'm not talking, I apologize, but this game requires a lot of focus. I always get hit by that blue guy. Oop, oop. There we go. That's what I was trying to do, guys. Spin jump through there. Watch out for that. I did not mean to do that, but it should be fine. I would prefer to have the spin jump for this part, but it is what it is. I know how to do it now without it, so it's fine. Just easier to <laughs> Chinese star that guy or whatever this this crazy thing is. See, if you keep dodging it though, you get this crazy effect going, which is kind of cool. Now that's a little speed run trick that I've seen from watching videos online. But the key to it is, as soon as the screen flips, you got to press right. If you don't, you won't grab the ladder and you'll die. Now here's a little despawn trick if you don't have the spin jump. I let that guy back off on the screen and he despawns and he goes away. And then I know that eagle and that soldier are going to come out next, so... That's the way to do that. For some reason, I did not throw a freaking ninja star there for some bizarre reason. But I'm still okay, I just need to not get hit by this eagle. There we go. And that's 6-2, which is the hardest out of all these levels, to be honest with you. That whole stretch of 6-2 is really tough. And it took me a while to... Even knowing where to go, <laughs> I still die all the time. That's how hard it is. And usually in a platforming game like this, as soon as I know exactly what to do, I pretty much never die anymore. But Ninja Gaiden is so hard, I still constantly die in this game. And the boss... Trying to beat the last two forms of the bosses with just a sword is still really challenging. At least for me, anyway. So jump over this guy, jump over this guy, jump over this guy, jump over the axe, and then jump over that guy. And that's how you get through that part without losing your spin jump. That's the second time I've been able to pull that move off. Oh, man. Usually I let the eagle go past. I hit the guy that's on the platform, and then I let the eagle come back, and that's when I strike. But I've been catching them both at the same time lately, which is pretty cool. Hopefully that's a trend I can continue to do. Makes it a lot faster. So I kill that. And then he comes back. Honestly, I don't even need... I'm collecting all this Nimpo for fun. I don't even need all of it. <laughs> I've got plenty. That's a red one right there. I'm going to skip it because, like I said, I don't need it. So there's a blue one, a blue one. Let this guy go past. Alright, let me go slowly here. Get him. And good, that's that's about the way to do it. So, I'm going to shred this guy in two seconds because I was able to keep my spin jump the whole time. So he's done. Now we move on to the hard part. Honestly, I wish I could use the sword on this guy and save my spin jump for the last two guys, but it doesn't work that way, so... So you gotta beat the last two forms with a sword. But you do get all your health back, so that's nice. Now fireballs count for one. And getting hit by him, him himself counts as three. You might have seen that right there. I just got lost three. That didn't count as a hit. I don't know why. That's... That's another reason I really hate fighting this guy with the sword, because it just seems to me like your hits never count. 
I guess you gotta be spot on. I got one there. But as you can see, he's crushing me. Because all my hits are missing. So that was a risky maneuver that didn't work out. I shouldn't have tried it. I'm gonna have to start playing smart here, guys. There we go. That worked out pretty good. That was worth getting hit by a fireball. Here we go. See if I can do it again. There we go. See, you gotta let them spread back out here. There we go. That's how you do it. It's tough though. I have trouble, man. I don't know what it is with this pattern specifically, but definitely messes me up all the time. We got a two hit there. That was pretty good. There's a fireball hit. Man, I went a while without being hit by him. One more hit, guys. I think we got this. There we go. That's probably the best I've ever done. I usually go right down to the wire with them. So, I've seen guys online, they'll just, uh, like, step for step with them. Just stay right under his ass and just keep jumping up and popping them, jumping up and popping them. And I don't, I'm just not that good. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm just happy that I can finally beat him with the sword because um, I haven't been able to do it my whole life. But I've been practicing pretty hard lately, and I, you know, this is one of the games I wanted to beat. So here's the last form. You gotta, you gotta take out his head first. See if I can actually get the sword to strike here. There we go. You want to watch out for his fireballs, obviously. It's like his one form of defense here. And the tail's gone. Okay. Oh, my fireball's hit for three, so... Now I'm gonna try and do the, the glitch trick. Alright, so I can get hit two more times and I'm dead. Oh, I got one hit, guys. He almost got me right there. There, and I beat him with the sword. And that's how you do it, man. So if you're gonna... Now, as you can see, I suck because I got down to one hit there. But if you're gonna try and speed run, you gotta be able to do it like that. Because the only other way to beat him is... Every time you die against the boss, it sends you back to 6-1. So you die, you go back to 6-1, you grab your spin jump. <laughs> grab your spin jump, you, you know, you shred him. And then you go to the next form and you die because you can't beat him with the sword because it's so friggin' hard. And you go get your spin jump again and then you can shred him. Um, the last form takes three hits, you gotta break down each part. But it's three hits of that spin jump, it takes two seconds. So you spend a half an hour basically playing through, you know, 6-1, 6-2, and 6-3 just to get to the boss and one-shot him. So if you want to see, I'll, um, I'll put that video up. I'll put it up in the corner, like right around here. If you want to see my video of doing it that way, that's how you do it. But it's definitely much more uh, preferable to beat it the way I just beat it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let this finish running through. And then I will close out this video. The art in this is really cool. I didn't play this game until later. You know, I, I'm, I'm an old man, but I'm not that old. When I, when I, was, I was still, like, pretty young when this game came out. So I didn't play it probably until the 90s. And it's still, I mean, I think I might have already had my Super Nintendo by the time I got to play Ninja Gaiden. 
because I never owned it. Um, actually, this is the first time I've ever owned it <laughs> now in my 30s, but I um, it still blew my mind. The graphics are crazy. The art is so good. I mean, you got like you got like no colors to work with, and they still make it look this good. So everybody watching now who's uh, grown up, you know, playing the newer systems is laughing at this, but I still think it looks great. I guess next I'll try to do uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 and Ninja Gaiden 3, guys. I have beat both of those games. Um, it's been it's probably been five or six years, and I did it with save states, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> I was saving at the beginning of each stage, although you can I would continue through and then I save on the last stage at the beginning, and then I'll play through a bunch. But I wasn't into those games as much as I was into this one, so I didn't really care. But I'm thinking I'll probably I'll probably uh, try to go through and beat them legit. I'll have to relearn the game, of course. I pretty much don't remember anything about it, so... Although I did recently watch, uh, watch a Game Center CX on it, so I probably have some of the stuff in my mind. And this is a cool uh, ending part, because you get to see... These are all the images from throughout the game, so... That's what's cool about this game, in between, le in between levels and actually in between different um, sections of levels, they'll have little little uh, cutscenes like this, which is pretty cool. It's, you know, it's standard now, but I'm, I mean, there wasn't nothing like this back in the day on Nintendo until this game came out, as far as I know. That guy's weird looking. That's pretty cool. He's weird looking too, man. A lot of the enemies in this game are very strange. <laughs> there you go. That's the end. So this game's still really fun. I've, I think I've gone through and beat it. I don't know. I've probably beat it like 10 times now. A couple times on videos you've seen, and you know, I've pr in practice, I've beat it a bunch, and I still like going back and playing it. I mean, after I've done this video, I might go through and run through it again because it's it's pretty damn fun. I'm right now. I'm trying to get faster at the earlier levels. I can make it to the fifth level without dying, but then I that's when I struggle. When I get to the fifth level, I have trouble. So I gotta if I fully master the fifth level, I think I could run through the whole game pretty quickly. I don't think I'm going to run through in, you know, so, like 10 minutes like all these speedrunners do. Because, I mean, they're just really good. It's awesome to watch them play. But, I mean, maybe I could beat the game in 20 minutes. And that'd be pretty good for me. I would be happy with that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and any other videos you might check out. If you enjoy them, hit that like button. I'd appreciate a sub if you feel like uh, hooking me up with one. They're free, so... <laughs> I'd appreciate that. It's at Bradley Guys, uh, Twitter and YouTube. And I will catch you later.